we're dead. Okay. We're starting to hallucinate. I feel like I'm tripping out. Yeah, this is the end. Alright, so I understand I have a very bad track record when it comes to survival games, especially when I do them in a permadeath fashion, which is exactly what I'm doing this time around. But I'm hoping that I can turn things around. I think I'm going to go with Voyager, okay? I have played this game before, but I am no means a survival expert. So, uh, I think Voyager is fine. The next question is, where are we going to start? And in this game, you crash landed in the Canadian wilderness, so I think it would only be fitting to go with random which is kind of scary because they've updated this a lot since i've played it's been months so probably even half a year honestly since i played so they probably added a lot of places a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern canadian wilderness how long can you survive let's hope it's uh longer than two episodes because that's how long my normal permadeath series lasts there's a nice quote to intro us into this Seems we've started in a cave. That's nice. So we have shelter right off the bat. That's awesome. But, yeah, I have no idea where we are. Not even an idea. But I think these are rocks that we can actually collect, right? Oh, coal. Okay, that's awesome. These are lumps of coal, which are used for fires. I know that much. That's actually pretty good. I'm kind of feeling like we may have gotten a good start here. And as you can see on the top... That shield icon means that we're protected from the cold. So, I mean, if we can't find any shelter, we may sleep in this cave tonight. It is now time to step out of the cave, and I already see wildlife up there. I think those are bunnies. That's not a bad sight. I mean, I do know there's wolves, so we should be on high alert. I'm pretty sure there's also bears. So, yeah, I'm a... Uh... A little on edge so if you never played this game or haven't watched any videos on it the bottom left those icons the first one means temperature the second one means energy the uh, third is thirst and the fourth is hunger you can easily freeze to death in this game that is your number one enemy in the long dark is the winter the frigid cold so you know what we should probably try and get a fire going are those mushrooms i'll take them a large edible shelf mushroom okay i'll just take it um I would take the rest, but yeah, we are very cold right now. This is bad. Um, shit. Okay, uh, let's get some sticks. I don't remember exactly how to build a fire, but that's what we're going to do right now, okay? All right, let's see if we can build a fire. I'm going to build it back here in this cave. Here we go. Um, do we have enough? Do we have an accelerant? Yes, we do. Okay, we started with an accelerant. That's awesome. The estimated fire duration is seven minutes, though. That's bad. Oh, we do have coals. We did get coals, so I'm pretty sure that will extend the life of the fire. Let's see. Add fuel. Here we go. Oh, God, that's awesome. That is so good. We almost died right off the bat. This would have been, what, like a three-minute video? That is so good. And as we're sitting here, cozy by the fire, let's check and see what we started with. We've got some fire starting supplies some first aid medicine we got antiseptic antibiotics that's awesome some bandages we also did start out with an energy bar and pork and beans so we have some food we are getting kind of hungry so i feel like rather than eating our only source of food right now maybe we can chuck a rock at a rabbit and cook it up we can't do this for long though because i do not want the fire to go out that'll definitely mean a uh I heard something. Also, think about it. There could be a Yeti out here. This is definitely some Yeti territory going on. Let's see if I can... Wow, that was actually close. That was actually pretty close. I think I'm going to go for this guy over here. Alright. There's no reticule or anything. Oh, wait. Here we go. No way. I actually got him. That is so good. No. He's alive. Oh, shit. Got him. There we go. Wow. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. Oh, God. That is disturbing. Listen, man. I had to do it, okay? This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and uh, the dog is eating a bunny right now, so I gotta do it. 
Okay, we're gonna harvest this with our hands. It's disgusting, but I gotta do it. All right, I just said we have to survive, and this is some of the things we have to do. As you can see, the rabbit is cooking there, and as it's doing that, I think I'm gonna head out and get some more sticks for the fire. There's another bunny over there that maybe we could try and get, but for now, we have to focus on getting some sticks. Like I said, though, there could be wolves, bears, who knows what lurking out in these woods. So, yeah, we have to be on high alert, okay? I do not want any wolves sneaking up on me. And who knows, what if this cave that we're living in is some sort of bear cave? And he's gonna come back at nighttime, I don't know. Speaking of that, the sun is going down, so... Let's try and be quick about this. We're probably gonna have to get a lot of wood to keep this fire going. 18 minutes until our rabbit is done cooking. Yeah, this is not going to last us long. And I do not want to be sleeping through the cold. I'm pretty sure that will mean our death. I'm going to be honest, so I'm very worried about this nighttime. Oh, the rabbit's cooked. Good thing we didn't burn it. And I'll take it. We're going to eat it later tonight for dinner. And yeah, this fire's not going to last us the entire night. You know what I think I'm going to do also? So we're going to kill this other bunny. Okay, it's messed up to kill one bunny, but we're going to have to kill two, all right? Like I said, we got to survive. These bunnies, they got to go, okay? They're a good source of food. Oh, shit, that was close. And we got to remember, oh, there's a deer over there. Or a buck? I don't know. Not a deer expert, but here we go. Nice. Sorry, buddy. You get to join your friend in the afterlife. The bunny after- why, why does he have to look at it afterwards? I could also break down these larger sticks, but it'll take a decent amount of time. I mean, I guess we do have 10 minutes of time. Okay, so we have hypothermia risk going on. So rather than stay out here and get more sticks, we're going to head back. Go back to our cozy little fire. Sorry, I got to do it. Okay, we got to gut this other bunny with our hands. And yeah, I'm not even going to think about it. All right, we're just gonna do it. Speaking of that, let's eat this first rabbit that we cooked. I don't know how much it's gonna fill us. Hopefully a decent amount. Not that much, I guess, sadly, but it is a rabbit, that does make sense. It's making me a little nervous, not gonna lie, because I don't know how long we can keep the fire going with the amount of wood we have. So, you know, I'm just gonna break down the stick with my hands. I think it's about time to head back to the fire. I'm just grabbing some sticks along the way. I think this is one of my missed stones from the uh, rabbit attack of 87. Those poor two rabbits. Oh, wait, you see that? I see some smoke. That is promising. That is very promising. I wonder what that's from. I mean, <laughs> probably a fire. So in the morning, we're going to head off into that direction, see where that's at. Maybe it's a chimney of a house. That would be the best possibility. But yeah, let's get inside, though. We're getting pretty cold and a rabbit's cooked, I'll just eat that straight up because it does not fill you too much anyways, so. Yeah. Didn't fill us too much, but you know what? It's better than nothing. We got some food in us. And let's add some more sticks. Yeah, this fire's not going to last us the entire night. That's very worrying. Um, we can also boil water from snow. Yeah, so we're melting the snow, and then we have to boil it, I'm pretty sure, afterwards just to make it clean. But yeah, it is rough out here, man. I can already tell this probably won't last long. I'm hoping we at least make it like five days. That would be amazing. Even though the idea of sleeping in the cold doesn't sound too good for me, we have to get some sleep. As you can see, that's the icon on the bottom left for energy and we're running pretty low on it. So there we go. Okay, not too bad. I may try and get some more sticks just so we can get i don't know i like i said i want two hours of sleep would be nice oh god it's creepy out here i can barely see out here maybe walking into a wolf or by god a grizzly bear or something maybe even a yeti who knows i don't know if there's yetis in the game but there could be okay my mind is open come on i gotta find some sort of large stick. What is that? Is that a deer? I don't know. I think that was a deer, but I'm just gonna keep my distance anyways. I'm not sure if wolves are nocturnal hunters, 
I don't know that much about wildlife, but just in case they are, let's head back. And it's also creepy out here anyways. I like it by the fire. Yeah, let's sleep for an hour and see how the fire looks after this. I do hear it going out. Oh my god, the water. I just forgot. I think we just boiled our water dry. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty stupid. Here we go. Okay. Oh god. I hear something to the right of me moving. I don't know what that is, but I hear something. Okay, we're heading back. I'm not going to figure out what kind of animal is making that noise. Maybe it's the deer from earlier. But yeah, let's not let's not find out. All right. Oh, oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Oh god. We sprained our ankle. Okay, it's not broken. So I was rushing over to the cave and I slipped off the mountain. It wasn't really a mountain, it was just a rock. And yeah, we sprained our ankle. Luckily, it's not broken. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah, so we sprained our ankle caused by fall. You have twisted your ankle and are now suffering a sprain. Your mobility will be reduced until you treat it or it heals over time. We're also suffering pain from that injury. And yeah, I don't think we should use a bandage for it because it does say recovery time four hours. So, I mean, in four hours, we're going to heal anyways. I think I'm also going to sleep for two hours. Hopefully we don't freeze to death. We've got those beautiful lights going on. That's awesome. That's where we're heading, though. Okay, we're heading to the smoke. Hopefully it's a house, a fire. I don't know, just something to save us right now because we need some saving. We are now beginning our journey to the smoke. This could be life or death because we're going to probably be hypothermic by the time we get there. So it's got to be something good. It's got to be a fire something i do see birds up there which i'm pretty sure means there's a dead body i think that's what it is right there a dead deer i'm hoping what killed it is not nearby though that's the last thing i need right now is some sort of bear or something yeah we're getting closer to the smoke i need this to be some sort of building a fire anything i mean smoke is promising though that generally means it's a fire yeah it's definitely on that mountain Damn. That sucks. Please do not fall. That's the last thing we need, man. I do not want to break this leg. It's already injured. Okay, so I've got some very bad news. There's not a way up to the mountain from here. But I'm wondering if there's something over here, maybe? No, there isn't. Okay. We gotta go back to the cave. Really sucks that we can't get there, though. That would have saved us. We're also starving, so let's actually eat that energy bar. Here we go. I really hope I can start the fire back up. Because I can't build another one. I need tinder to do that. So I'm hoping since this fire's already been made, we can build it back up again. I'll take my can. But yeah, it's not looking like we can... Yeah. We need tinder to do that, which I'm pretty sure is newspaper... Stuff like that. So basically the plan right now is to just go into freak out mode and try and find a house, anything. I see a dead guy over there, which I may join him pretty soon. So, I mean, on the bright side, at least we're not going to die alone. There's some other dead guy out here with us, so that's good. Is there any way I can get over there? No, I don't think so. Man. Nope. Ooh. God fucking damn it, dude. Yeah, we sprained both of our ankles, so I just basically guaranteed our death. Let's be real, we're dead. There's no point in having some false hope that we're going to find a building out here. We're dead. Okay. We're starting to hallucinate. I feel like I'm tripping out. Yeah, this is the end. And let's just pick a good place to die. I guess that's all we can do right now. I'll just die right next to this mountaineering rope. Hopefully we don't slip off the uh, cliff. A one episode so good. series. We have now faded into the long dark. Day survived zero. You know what? Screw this, man. I'm playing this again, okay? 
I'm not going down like that. Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode of Long Dark, and uh, let's actually survive in the next episode. That would be, that'd be nice. So, in the meantime, have a good one.